Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. This is Mike with the Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. We are on September 13th, 2017. Welcome to another 24 hours on this great planet Earth. We are all survivors. Thank the Lord. Thank you for joining me. So today we're going to start with, of course, tropical storms, because we are still in full swing hurricane season. And we're looking at five tropical storms right now across our planet. We have Hurricane Jose, Typhoon Talim, Tropical Storm Doxuri, and Tropical Depression 15, and also an investigation area just off the coast of Mexico, in the East Pacific Ocean. We're just going to give you a rundown on what these storms look like. We're going to start with Jose who's had a very strange track, all of a sudden being pushed south, and it looks like it's gonna do a couple laps around here in the Atlantic Ocean, and quite possibly come back north. They're saying it'll be out to sea though. These are just the projected models right now. It's really hard to tell where these storms will go. And this is uh, Typhoon Talim and Doc Surrey. Here's another picture of Typhoon Talim. There's a very large tropical storm. Is number sorry, is a Typhoon Category Two, heading into Category Three. Still out to ocean right now, uh, just grazing Northern Island of Tai Taiwan. Uh, but looks like it's going to be heading north and then east into the ocean, into, back out to the Pacific. We've also got the Tropical Depression 15, it's right here, still small track model so far, it's still in the midst of creating itself, you can see here two very large high cloud tops, they will build together, spaghetti models will probably change. And then we're also looking at here the investigation area just off the coast of Mexico. And still very large cloud tops. And we're looking at a lot of large high cloud tops around the world as moisture is increasing. I've posted many videos about atmospheric rivers and the cosmic galactic rays which will create more moisture around the world. Look at satellite imagery over East Pacific, goes east. You can see there Irma being blown to bits. And Jose. Tropical Storm 15 right here. And investigation area here. Atlantic's very busy right now. Um, a lot of large storms forming still. Harvey is still spinning in the Atlantic somewhere, right here. And Irma. Looks like it's, she's trying to build again on land. Low pressure center is sitting just over under Ohio. Go to the Ghost West satellite. Now, a few videos, if you look back on my channel, I've posted videos about atmospheric rivers. Now, atmospheric rivers is where all the moisture and large low pressure systems follow the jet stream, the northern jet stream, and just pour moisture into land. And we're seeing these events happen around the world, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere as we go through all these changes together. And we're just going to overlook Africa and Europe, and London, England, 
dealing with some flood warnings and a lot of northern England. A lot of flood warnings from this very large low. You can see the Atlantic is uh, very busy. There's a lot of moisture in there. And we have another tropical storm forming, it looks like, right here off the coast of Africa. Another Atlantic storm. But the southern hemisphere, same thing. Very large lows, strong, intense velocities. Wind speeds are increased all around the world. Wind speeds and rainfall. And now we're going to be looking over the West Pacific. This is Typhoon Tylem and Dock Surrey. And we've seen one storm after another form in this part of the ocean this year. And it looks like we have another very large low right behind Tylem could possibly turn into a typhoon in the next couple days. So no real threat to humanity with these storms right now. But Typhoon Talim is still heading north and may hit uh, the islands of Kamchatka as it heads east into the Pacific. And Jose, we're just waiting to find out where exactly he goes. Let's go over the last uh, 24 hours for earthquakes, everybody. Hasn't been too busy over the last 24 hours compared to the last week. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Yeah, but we're still having earthquakes warm in Mexico from the 8.1 that we had last week. Well, you can see here, this is the last seven days, folks. Very busy Mother Earth for earthquakes. Earthquake swarms in the Caribbean, Mexico, and of course, Yellowstone, state of Idaho. I can't even get all these earthquakes in there. There we go. So apparently NASA has come up with a, a plan to diffuse the uh, scary situation in Yellowstone. I haven't heard exactly what they're going to do, but I heard that they do have a plan. And they are gonna try to curb her enthusiasm, pretty much. Curb Yellowstone's enthusiasm, because she is active. And scientists and some geologists around the world are kind of freaking out. So this has been another episode of Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, where I post severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. I want to thank you for joining me today. Thanks to all my subscribers. And big shout out to all my friends and family across the world. We are survivors. And God bless you all. Thanks for watching. This is Mike with your Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay young and have fun. Get your Morning Dew.